Hey guys, what's up? It's Ash. So, um, <sighs> I've got a lot of requests for this tutorial, but, uh, it's super simple. Like, I only have, like, three steps to my foundation routine, but, um, that's also, like, three less steps I can do in my makeup tutorials. So, um, I figured I'd upload this. Uh, it's really just me slapping some stuff on my face, in case you were wondering how I did my face makeup. Um, I briefly talk about the products I use, but everything I use in this foundation routine can be found at Walmart, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I start by priming my face, and I use, uh, I don't even know, I usually just use whatever, but right now I've been on the Maybelline kick. It's not one of the silicone ones, it's just like cream or whatever, so yeah, I don't know. It works really well. I can go like an entire convention day and this stuff doesn't like come off, like my makeup doesn't come off, so I like it. It hasn't given me any reason to say anything bad about it. Um, uh, sometimes I use my foundation brush to blend that in, but like most of the time I just use my fingers. Just because it doesn't have to be like precise or anything. Okay, uh, on the foundation. Foundation I use is, uh, I use two different foundations. Um, this one is like an exact match for my skin. It is 101 Classic Ivory by uh, L'Oreal Paris. It looks like it is like the same brand as this one, but it's not. <laughs> um, everyone's like copying this kind of packaging. This specific packaging ripped off like a high-end product. I forgot which one, but anyway. So this one's really good. Um, kind of thin, you can build it up. But today I'm going to be using this one, the Fit Me in Porcelain. I get some on the back of my hand. I usually use an actual palette, but um, by usually I mean when all my stuff is actually clean, which is like only on other people, like clients. I'm usually lazy when it comes to myself because it doesn't matter, it's just me. La, 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 la. This again is a really buildable foundation like I, I know a lot of people use this one because it's like I think it's currently the palest one at the fucking drugstore like it's as pale as it gets so um I usually just dot it all over my face and then I get a brush um I use the Real Techniques bronzer brush the retractable one and um it's stained so don't look at it but you know I like it because it just buffs everything in really fast don't forget to get your neck and a little bit on your ears. That's something that I see more than anything. People forget to do that. You really need to get your neck mostly, but your ears too, because it just sort of looks out of place if your ears are extra pink and then your face is pale. This is, of course, if you're like me and you have really pinkish undertones. At this point, um, you can put concealer on if you want to. Uh, I don't have any, like, really bad blemishes right now, so, um, less is more for me. I'm not gonna put any on. But for my basic con con foundation routine, like, I don't really wear concealer anyway, so, um, yeah, if you do, this is where you should put that on. Um, lastly, I set everything with this kind of powder, um, I've tried a lot of powders, high-end powders, Walmart powders, you know, everything in between. This is my favorite one. I talked about it a little bit before, but I'm, I don't know. It just works really well, and it smells really fresh. It is definitely scented, so if you don't like smells... I don't know how to describe the scent, though. Like, it smells like grandma's. I love it. I also, um, I don't have the translucent shade, I have the honey beige shade. No, um, that's basically it for me, like, I don't wear too much face makeup, like, that's kind of a lot, I think, anyway. For, you know, like, just dude fucking hanging out like it's not really I don't do any of the crazy strobing or anything on a daily basis now I do that for some makeup tutorials if you guys would like to see that you could let me know but um 
yeah, at this point, I would go ahead and do my eyebrows. Um, I would wipe off any foundation that got on my jewelry. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I do. Okay, so uh, I went in and drew some eyebrows on. And, um, yeah, that's my foundation routine. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, don't forget to, like, do all the shit that everyone says that you should do on videos. Like, like it and stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say from here. It's a really simple video, but a lot of people asked for it, and ooh, I needed to make it to make my other tutorials more simple. So, ooh, if you have any questions for me, let me know, and uh, I'll see you later.